The bird that chanted Amitabha. In the northern Song Dynasty, a household in Hunan Province had a minor bird. The kind that can mimic human speech. One day, a Buddhist monk passed by the house. The bird in the cage hanging over the doorway heard him reciting Amitabha. It parroted the word. Surprisingly, the miner from then on kept reciting Amitabha from dawn to dusk. It refused to learn any other words people tried to teach it. The family was amazed. The bird must have a strong karmic connection with Buddhism, they thought. So they gave it to the monk. Several years passed, and the miner continued to recite. One day it died. The monk made a small coffin for it, in appreciation of its company over the years. He buried it in the grounds of his temple. To his surprise, when he passed the spot a few days later. The monk saw a white lotus blooming from the earth, where the coffin lay. Most lotus flowers grow in water, but this one sprouted from the soil. The bird must have been reborn in the pure land through Amitabha recitation. It manifested this rare, miraculous sign to tell people that the land of bliss really exists. And rebirth there through Amitabha recitation is not false. Later, someone wrote a verse to acclaim the event. There was a fairy bird, a mina. It learned to recite Amitabha from a monk. After it died, the burial site grew a lotus. Are we humans so foolish that we won't recite? <laughs>